okay so our 8 bit computer is ready it is working and hopefully while demonstrating this also it will work so uh, what this will do is do addition and subtraction of two numbers okay and here is the topmost module which is a clock clock module so uh, and, and the speed of the clock module first you start the clock so this is a automatic mode so this uh, this is the clock and it is blinking at a constant rate and that uh, the speed of the clock can be changed using this potentiometer and also we can put it on manual mode okay. so this toggle switch if we press it now it goes on manual mode the led is off right now and if we press this push button now correct so now what we will do is instead of using automatic mode i think this is how you get automatic mode i will disable it and go to manual mode so clock will be by pushing this okay and that will be useful you'll see in a moment why that is going to be very interesting okay so that's um, now why don't you do one thing you put every everything at zero okay so i hope you not everything is zero now. okay so what we are going to do is um, we are going to this is for uh, storing data at a given address so this is really address okay so let me so, and this again has two modes this is also manual mode and clock mode so this push button will uh, switch between whether you want to store data in the ram at a given address or the data from the bus or you want to supply it through these dip switches okay so we are going to supply some number so let's say we want to do a plus b okay so a i want to store and that a i will give from here so let's choose a number let's choose a equal to one so one will be all of these are zero right now and this lowest will be high can you make it so high? the lowest one lowest bit is high so now so, you have one okay so this is one in binary one in binary okay. uh, and in this computer all the inputs that you have to give has to be in binary but then finally the output which which, uh, which it will display here will be in decimal okay so now i have one now what i'll do is i will put that one into the computer okay and for that uh, we will just push this push button or clock bhi to dena padega na ha so once so actually for this you will have to have um, the clock running and auto, at auto mode no you can do it that one also okay let's try ha okay correct so go back go back i'll show so let's go back here so see this i'll zoom in so zoom out so this output display which is right here this is actually always showing what is on the bus okay so here this is the bus right so what, i'll just tell you what what is happening many different modules okay so this is for example ram module this is output module there are registers here they are all talking to each other via the bus so that's why you see lots of wires coming from here to the, these uh, rails these buses many wires coming there so you see each side is putting wires because it wants to take data from the bus or give data to the bus okay so let's see what happens so here is zero so so for our ram module we will set a uh, address it doesn't really matter right now but the data in the ram module will keep it as the lowest bit to be oh, is that no that's wrong so there is to be one so that's one now see what will happen when he pushes the data in and okay. he push it and nothing happens because he want to put a clock signal okay so that's where so he has pushed the data in but the data will reflect here mm -hmm. only when the clock is pulsed so now he will manually pulse the clock so uh, we will pulse it and as soon as he pulse it you will see the data come here Ah, nice. So you see what has happened. We are already happy. It's working. So he put one on the RAM module, and when the clock went high, that one was put on the bus, and then from the bus, this take took the data and it's displaying. Okay. So that's one number. So one now. Let's put two also. Hmm. One plus two. So if you want to add, right now one is on the bus. but to add we want it in the a register so this board uh, 
Let me show you this bolt right here. You can go slow. Which bolt? Ah, this, this, one. this one. This bolt. Yes. Okay. Whatever is on this bolt is what we call a register. So we want to shift one onto here. So the A register and the B register. So this board and no, not this board. Sorry, uh, this one, this board and this board. This is the A register and this is the B register, and they both are the two inputs for the ALU. So the ALU is the arithmetic logic unit, which will either add or subtract the two numbers which are coming in from both the registers. Okay, let me try to uh, explain a bit, little uh, slowly. So you see, I have one. I have input one in my computer and that thing is going to be processed here. So one plus two, we are going to uh, do, but that addition will be done here. But before I put uh, that thing here, I should store that number one somewhere, store that number two, which I'm going to put somewhere. And then at the next clock, they all get added. Okay. So that's what we are doing. So now we will put a to this register or this one. Uh, it doesn't matter, but let's do it to the A register. So we will transfer one here. Okay. So how you're going to do that? So this is the A register. And right now we know that the, that one is already on the bus. So this signal, we will just put low and the, uh, we'll put low and then high. Okay. That does not seem to work. <laughs> oh, my bad. We, it's okay. This, orange signal which we have here, I forgot the name, we have to put this high too because right now it's disabled. So when okay, it's high... Okay, actually before starting the demonstration, we had disabled everything. We were doing some testing. So we have enabled the chips again. Okay, yes, go so back. Now that it's enabled, now it can take input from the bus. So now if we just put this one... Okay, still not doing it. It didn't um, work. Yeah. Is it? Did this? you make a mistake? Oh, that's weird. Okay. So I think I've again forgotten something. We should label. Yes, I probably have. Go slow. Go slow. Mm. Uh, okay, something is wrong. The one is still on the bus. I think no, you have not uh, clogged it. Clock ah, yes, clock yes, yes. <laughs> so, yes. So, check, check it again. So, these are okay. if we put this high uh, low and then we clock it ah, okay huh. so Everything that was fine. okay so that that was not the issue um so it's supposed to be at ground i uh, <laughs> so right now that. you should be looking where is one where is one so this is the a register and here it is showing one and b register has right now zero uh, zero all these are z off so it's zero and it is showing the addition so this zero so this is, is the one. a register what is on the a register right now and this is what is on the B register right now. And this is the... No, don't move your finger that much, I'm worried. <laughs> and this is what is in the ALU. Ah. So, so right now, now this is adding. Okay, so our deal was we will add 1 and 2. So 1 plus 2. So where is 2? Let's put 2 now. So we have 1 here now. So here 1 we is already two. on this. We'll put 2 on this register. So, okay. so let's go back. So now let's go back to RAM module. And we will just put this one down. Where and is then two? we will put the second switch up. So this is two in binary. So that is zero, 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 one, zero. One, zero is two in binary. Okay. Okay. So now let's put it on the bus. But, and then we also So that have is one, zero. And then we also have to clock it, pulse it. Okay. Two has come on the bus. It is showing here, but it has not gone to the B register yet. So now we'll put it to the B register. So for the B register, again, we'll put the signal on low. And then and you have then to clock. Have pulse. And, and you see, here we have a two. So we have two on B register. What? Yes. Two has gone. Oh, you oh. didn't disable it. <laughs> I did not uh, disable this one. Okay. So, so again, again, you have to do it. So we have to do this. So come back. Now it no, but two plus two. Yes. If we, if, yeah, mm -hmm. this is four. Right now it's adding two plus two. So this is four. So that's working fine. But it is I, not showing yes, four? but next clock it will show, I think. No, no, you have to, huh? But you have to, from the ALU, you have to put this signal high so it's outputting on the bus. Okay. And then on the next clock, ah, ah, yes. it works. Okay, so we wanted to show you 1 plus 2 equal to 3, but we have ended up showing 2 plus 2 equal to 4. So let's go back. Let's do. Okay, so let's do 1 plus 2. No, let, no let's do 3 plus 
Seven. Let's see whether it can do that. Okay. <laughs> because it will be ten then. Okay. Let's do uh -huh. three plus seven. So, but make sure you don't make the yes. same mistake. Let's put this low, and we'll put this low too. That's nice. Okay. So, so three plus seven. So, Three, so three three in binary is one one one. A, a one paper then as well. Give me a piece of paper. We'll so just write it. here one one. So this is three in binary. Let's put that and let's pulse it. Okay, here we have three. And it is in which register? It's not in any register yet. Why? We have to put it in the register. Right oh, now yeah. we are putting it on the bus. Okay, it is on the bus right now. Very good. And now to put it on the A register, we'll put the signal low. And then we will pulse it. Okay. So here it is on the A register now. Dena, dena, dena. I'll just write it on. Just show, give it to me. So that people can also understand. So I'll just write here. So, this is not a paper. Nahi mila. So, <laughs> okay, all the zeros. And then 1, 1. 1, 1 is what is 3. And then we want 7, right? 7 is 1, 1, 1. This is 7. So that's what he's putting. Let's let's keep it here. I thought you want to put a chit. It's so small. Is it in the? Mm. Okay, let's put it like this. It is visible. Yes, so the other is visible. Okay. So now we have a three in the A register, and now in the B register we want a seven, but this does not look like a seven. So we have to now go back to our RAM module. And we have to. Okay, there's another tool for that. So now in the RAM module, we have put a seven. Let's pulse it. And here we have a seven. But to put it on the bus, we need to pulse the clock module. Yes, seven. Very good. So seven is now on the bus. Excellent. Then now we have to put it on the B register. B register. So this. No, वो आ तो गया वो क्या है? नहीं नहीं Oh, uh, Oopsie. You have again made the same mistake. Yes, I'll die it quickly. Okay. Be here, there, and. Um, oh. That's not right. Oh. Okay. Something song. Clock. You have to clock. Ah, right. You keep forgetting clock. I keep forgetting clock. Okay. I'm, I'm used to doing a manual mode. Okay. Now let's put a 7 on the. But make sure you have disabled there. Huh. Yes. Now 7 is on the bus and now we have to put it on the B register. Mm -hmm. So let's take the signal low. So, so this should become all, uh, 3 should become 1. Uh, bright, bright, bright. Right now this is 4 and that's not what we want. So yes, so now there's a 7 here. Perfect. So we have 3 here, 7 here and addition should be... And this is the sum and it looks like a 10. So this is, this bit is 8. Plus 2, which is 10. Yes, yes, this is correct. So actually, 1, hold it. 1, 0, 1, 0 is a 10. Okay, in binary. So this is 10. And as you can see, it's already here. So that's a 10 already here. Yes. So now we will take this signal and we will put it low. Uh, this is low. Okay, this is low. And now, mm -hmm. we, when once we pulse this, it should show 10 here. And, and that it is a shows, 10. It shows 10. Our computer is working. We are very happy. And uh, it can do subtraction as well. Maybe later we will uh, demonstrate that.